welcome back to my channel how are you guys doing today so today's video is basically i am going to uh, tell you what is my favorite learning um toddler um toys and what i don't what uh i have a certain item that i do not like that i don't recommend for for toddler please ignore my <laughs> my baby she my toddler she is like over there with daddy daddy's trying to rearrange her playing area because like now she can stand up and walk around we thought we can extend our certain place anyways so i'm gonna go with this end. um these are really good for bath toys um but as they get to maybe i'll say 12 like a year a year yeah a year and a half years old do not give this to them because my daughter i Maybe maybe some some toddlers will be okay, but my daughter she um managed to rip this and take that squeaky part out, and the thing is really small because it squeaks, and the thing is really small, and they uh they can get stuck in their mouth. Um, I caught it, but she was biting. I took it out of her mouth, and she, we had the biggest tantrum hissy fit when we took this away from her, and I had to distract her with something else. But this is terrible i mean it's good i probably can like tape it back and use this i mean it's good because it has like these color things like green um purple and all that stuff but i think uh i took it back like she she has one in the bath um that it's okay to play with because i barely let her touch it but she took i wasn't paying attention and she took this out of the bathtub and threw it so i picked it up and put it somewhere else she got a hold of it and then ripped this and then the squeaky part came off and i think it's just kind of sort of dangerous maybe if it's for like a baby who is not can't don't tear it apart maybe like a newborn and a baby that won't tear it apart but my toddler um my, do my daughter odessa she tore this and i think this is not recommended so uh, for when she, they probably turn like a year and a half when they manage to like open and just you know just tear things apart because not has it so so would I recommend that um the next one that I love that I do recommend you probably seen this in my other I videos oops um this this puppy is the best puppy ever um this is Scout um we she i know there's okay i'm gonna be i'm gonna like myself clear there are purple and then purple and green um the purple one's supposed to be for girls and the green one's supposed to be for boys but i don't believe in those gender coordination things gender coordination things i just don't think that's necessary if a girl if a girl wants a green dog it's fine if a girl wants a purple a boy wants a purple dog that's fine there has to be no like girl boy dog i mean it's perfectly fine she, she i i know that she we found the purple dog and the green dog and then apparently she wanted the green dog and i thought the green dog was cool because green is mommy's favorite color so and she likes green and there's nothing wrong with having a green dog so give this video a thumbs up if you agree with me comment down below if you agree with me too because there i've i've noticed that there is a lot of like there's specific of girl and boy dog if a girl wants a purple dog it's fine boy wants a purple dog that's fine i think the green dog is just as good as the purple dog i mean this this is the same thing it's just it's different colors so anyways this one is really awesome it has like five minutes of like 15 minutes of lullaby music on this end and then this has the music and then you can actually make it to where she, it says her name so like hold on Odessa, let's sing a song about So you. I think it's cute. So she can actually learn her name and she dances it to it too. And there's she did actually say her name uh one time. Uh Odessa, but she was like talking to herself. And and I think it's cute and then um you can you can make it with your favorite animal, dolphin. I think it's cute. It's it's awesome. You can change what her favorite color is. Blue. I mean, you can you can go on the website. You can change it. And then on this end, it has can like. You think of something red. I'm thinking of apple. Red. I love apple. And. Hi, Odessa. So it says hi, and you can just turn it off. And so I think it's really good because she she finally learned it. How, uh, we got this when she was like I think like six months, and she didn't really understand how to play with it. But now she can push her own, own buttons, which I think is really cool that she pushes her own buttons, and then she sings along and dances with it a lot. And she's been learning how to. She's been learning her colors and her apples and 
her sounds and so like she's been saying apple a lot and a scout's been happy her apple um i saw this really cute thing where she pushed a button and, she, and then scout says i'm feeling sad odessa can you give me a hug and she literally took scout and hold scout and then she hugged it and then and then she went mm -ah. so i think this is really cool this is a a really really good toy that i think that it's good for like when you probably when they're like five to six months and stuff like that like for five six months you can put a lullaby music in fact when she's old enough i can probably like let her cuddle with it um and stuff like that but um um not necessarily yet but um she loves scout she we see scout everywhere it kind of helps her calm down and stuff like that the next toy that i recommend is this um this toy it's a really good toy it's a remote um they have like their abc um and it has abc and then channel up channel down green yellow red and it has the numbers on here and so she, she it kind of like worried her because like, she, she played with it a lot and then she did all the numbers and she went hella hella like she pretends it's a cell phone but it's actually a remote but I think it can be a cell phone too but she goes hello and I think it's really good for toddlers because they can know the number and it does say the number like so and it, it plays music and she does dance with this so I recommend this toy especially for long trips or something to distract them she loves this toy a lot um <clears throat> the next toy um my mother-in-law her grandma got her this toy and it's like the old old cell phone and I think it's really cute she's been like turning this around and she's been trying to uh as you can see she kind of sort of picked at it which is you have to be careful w with toddlers because she can she's trying to pick at it and try to tick her fing stick her fingers in it and try to get it but I think it's a really good toy because it has the numbers and it makes music and she's been turning it and then she did go hello but she did it backwards she did this but I mean it's it's you know to it basically works for fine motor skills also she can use this to drag along and walk but she doesn't she just plays with the toy and just um you know pull it and stuff like that and she just hangs upside down and then she likes to bite on this but <laughs> it's fine and then she plays with the eyes and then she actually talks to this you know she's like i gotta like pretend like this is an actual person or some kind of thing that talks about her but i think it's really cute um it works for this ways it's good for fine motor um one thing that I also recommend is this. Also, my mother-in-law got her this too. Um, she's learning how to stack toys now, stacking things. So this is really good for stacking. I think it works amazing. In fact, like she, she's she been working on how to... I've been helping her working on stacking things. Also, it helps with their colors too. And I've been helping her stacking things and doing like this. And then she, she hasn't done it like the properly, but she will stack like... She'll do this with like this and then she'll try to like stack it and she'll she basically just doesn't do it the correct way but she's stacking and then she figures out okay it won't go and then she did that and it's like oh uh oh and then she fa it falls down so um <laughs> i think that's adorable um so every time i'll like stack it back for her and so like i'll stack it like this for her oh it doesn't go there like this and then i'll let her play with it and then restock it all over again the last oops, I got it. the last toy that i recommend is this um it's for a shape thing she she kind of sort of she doesn't really know how to put the shapes in but if you put the shapes on top she does push it in but it does talk back so and it it's like good for like um it's like drums like pow 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 um and stuff like that and then it's good because they can work it on and she's been doing this taking it apart so i'll put like stuff or toys in it and then she'll just take it apart by herself and that's really smart it's good for fine motor skills she, she can manage to take it apart i'll probably like, record one day when she actually takes it apart but that's what i recommend for like taller toys and um and what my favorite taller toys are i really love that it's super awesome and I mean, I have a bunch more, but she's playing with it. And if I take out her toy, she'd be like, "Mommy, what is my toy?" Do? But those are my one recommendation. And the one, the last, the f the one, the first item that I showed that's not I recommend it, especially when she's actually when 
they're such an age where they tear stuff apart. So that's my favorite toddler toy. I do recommend it. I'm not saying that you have to go buy it, but that's what I recommend. And I think it's a really good toddler toy. Um, especially for my daughter. She is like six, 16 months old now. So everything is like destructive, ripping, tearing. So I didn't think that she would do that. So she ripped it and you know. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I really appreciate you guys supporting me and for me to my channel. Hi, my name is Jessica aka Jaw. Um, I'm a stay-at-home mom, a homeschool mom, unschool mom, all that awesome stuff. And uh, give this video a thumbs up and share this video and let's get the 2k if you know and help the channel grow. And if you like my content, just give it a thumbs up. Mahalo. Well, how should I say mahalo? Mahalo. Ahuiho. Catch you guys on the next wave. Shoots. Thank you.